Möbel or furniture in German. We're going to break this down by room. Das Schlafzimmer. Das Bett is a bed. Der Kopfkissen is a pillow. Das Bild is a picture. Der Schreibtisch is a writing table, aka a desk. Das Regal und das Bücherregal. Regal is a shelf. Bücherregal is a bookshelf. Literally books. Uh, plural. Die Kommode is a dresser. Die Lampe, lamp. Die Schublade is a drawer. So you might have a Schublade and a Kommode. And probably to help you <laughs> wake up, <laughs> you would have a radio vecker or a vecker. A radio vecker is a clock radio with this alarm part, and a vecker is just an alarm clock. And then separately, you might have a radio or das radio. So, hier ist ein Schlafzimmer. Was siehst Du. So write out uh, or verbalize what do you see. Resume this video when you're ready to go on to the next room. Das Wohnzimmer. The living room. Das Sofa. Sofa or couch. Der Sessel. An armchair. So, uh, like a big, comfy, poofy chair. <laughs> Der Fernseher, a television. Der Vorhang is a curtain. Think of, uh, if we break this word down, hang is like it hangs and for in front of. <laughs> so, what hangs in front of the window? The curtain. Hier ist ein Wohnzimmer. Was siehst du? Write out a list of what you see in the Wohnzimmer. Resume when you're ready to move on. Die Küche. The kitchen. Das Spülbechen. Kitchen sink. Spülen comes the verb to clean, kind of like cleaning with water in a sense. Two words for washing, uh, for dishwasher, sorry, geschirr is dishes, so der Geschirrspüler, der er, die Geschirrspülmaschine, ends in an E, typically D. So this is um, the same, same thing. <laughs> Geschirrspüler, die Geschirrspülmaschine. Dishwasher. Der Kühlschrank, Schrank is a cupboard, Kühl is cool, so it's the cupboard that keeps things cool. We call it the refrigerator. Der Herd is the oven. Uh, sorry. Um, der Herd is the stove. Der Mikrowellenherd um, is a microwave stove. In English, we would say microwave oven or just microwave. But when they're the same, right? Compound noun. Der Ofen is the oven. Oops, I forgot to take care. Get rid of that for you. And der Schrank is cupboard. So don't forget that that kind of goes with our idea of um, Kühlschrank, yeah? Schrank, Kühlschrank. So der, der. Compound noun rules again. And then we have der Stuhl and der Tisch. You might also see... Um, Sometimes you might have one. You might have an, an S tisch in your kitchen as well. So it's the dining table. Also dare, dare S. So here is eine Küche. Was siehst du? What do you see in this kitchen? Resume when you are ready to continue.
das Badezimmer, bathroom. You have a waschbecken. So in the kitchen, it's a spülbecken. In the bathroom, it's a waschbecken. So bathroom sink. Die Badewanne, bathtub. Die Dusche, shower. And then an E, typically the E. Die Toilette, the toilet or the commode. Die Waschmaschine. Now I know this sounds weird to put in the bathroom, but especially in Germany or larger cities, um, you often find the washing machine in the bathroom because of the water hookup um, and to conserve space. And you probably have der Spiegel, which is a mirror. And this one's easy to remember. I think of Snow White, uh, Schneewittchen. Spiegelein, Spiegelein an der Wand, wer ist die schönste im ganzen Land? Mirror, mirror on the wall. He's the most, he's the prettiest of them all. So, hier ist ein Badezimmer. Was siehst du? Resume when you're ready to continue. Bonus room. Das Arbeitszimmer. So, workroom or office. Or study. Was siehst du? Write down what do you see in this room? The meuble, what's the furniture? Resume when you are ready to go on to the next one. Das Esszimmer. Literally the dining room. What, was siehst du? What do you see? Write it down. Resume when you're ready to continue. Das Ende. Danke.